Frontier Volleyball team comes in well rested, looking to defend its conference championship title and secure a spot in the NCAA tournament. First up in Big West semifinal action, the Gauchos of UC Santa Barbara square off against the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. Coming to you from the campus of UC Irvine, it's semifinal action of the Outrigger Resorts and Hotels Big West Men's Volleyball Championship presented by the Hawaiian Islands. First of two matches coming your way has four seed UC Santa Barbara taking on the top seed and number one in the land, two time defending national champ, Hawaii. Aloha from inside Brent Event Center, everybody. Next to Chris McLaughlin, I'm Kanoa Lehi and C-Mac. Mission accomplished for Hawaii. They get the top seed, they earn a bye in the first round of the Big West Tournament, and they go up against a team that they beat twice by way of sweeps in the regular season. And they got the advantage of Santa Barbara going five sets last night against UC San Diego. That could be, that could be a factor tonight. Bit of a different looking Gaucho squad though this time around, huh? Absolutely. They got their outside hitter, Dane Chalmers, has moved to Libero of all things. The guy named Ben Court, who went for 16 kills last night, didn't score any kills last night against uh, the last time he played Santa Barbara because he's been a serving specialist. So Hawaii's facing a different kind of Santa Barbara team. It could make it interesting. Yeah, and Hawaii fans are actually going to be familiar with both setters, an intriguing matchup there. To talk more about that, we bring in the third member of our broadcast team, Ryan Kalei Suji. Ryan, what's up? Hey, thanks, Kuno. A lot of storylines between these two teams, but you're right. It's going to be a battle between two setters that know each other very well. Of course, Jack Walmer, the former backup to Jakob Tella and played for the University of Hawaii before transferring to the Gauchos last night set his team to a 348 hitting percentage and had 50 assists on the night setting his team into this semifinal matchup against his former teammates of the Rainbow Warriors of course Hawaii being led by defending player of the year of the conference Jakob Tella who continues to lead the nation in this most efficient offense we'll see these two setters go at it all night long back over to you guys Thanks a lot, Ryan. All right, here's your updated bracket. Hawaii and Santa Barbara will kick things off here in this semifinal round. Long Beach State, the two seed, will take on third seeded UC Irvine, the host of this year's Big West Conference Tournament. You imagine that could be a big time battle. Of course, the championship match scheduled for tomorrow. All right, let's take a look at the Kaiser Permanente keys to the match. C-Mac, what do you have? Well, for Santa Barbara, it's serve in. Last night they had so many serves out. I think it was uh, 30 all together. Coach McLaughlin would love to see those errors reduced without losing quality. And for UH's patience, UH hitters will be facing the number one digs per set team in the country. Patience will be a virtue as rallies will be longer than usual. And so we are ready to play here at Brent Event Center. And let's just say Hawaii, at least from the crowd standpoint, they have flipped this to being a home court advantage type of atmosphere. There are a ton of Hawaii fans in the house. I'm astonished as to how many rainbow fans are here traveling across the pond. To Cheer on these rainbow warriors. It's amazing. Yeah, you got tea leaves all over the creation. Uh, Brand Event Center, which primarily has a blue color to it. Well, it's awfully green here <laughs> at the moment for this first semifinal. It really is. Head coach for UC Santa Barbara, Rick McLaughlin, in his 15th season. They went 8 and 16 overall. Three and seven to finish fourth in the Big West Conference. Uh, he is a head coach who's had to deal with quite a bit of injury issues this season. So a lot of mixing and matching. Uh, and the team that they're putting out there here against Hawaii, a little bit different from what we saw throughout a good portion of the year. Absolutely. And they're tonight, and they, you know, they've got a new libero. They've got a new outside hitter, Ben Corey. They've got Chalmers, the new libero. On the other side, Charlie Wade in his 14th season, Hawaii 26 and 2, 9 and 1 in the Big West Conference to get the top seed, and they come into this tournament riding a nine match win streak, and it'll be Jakob Tella, one of six Hawaii starters to earn first team all Big West Conference honors. But it will be UCSB striking first. Nick Amoruso, he had a big match last night in the quarterfinal round against UC San Diego. Went for 20 kills on 41 swings. He's averaging 3.4 kills per set for the year. He was a one-man wrecking crew last night. 
Boy, I would love to slow him down tonight. And so here's Ben Court. He went career last night. 16 kills for him, hit 361. Also had a service ace. And that serve goes long. That was an issue for UCSB in that match last night. A match that saw 54 combined service errors. UC Santa Barbara had 30 of them as the Hawaiian Financial FCU starting lineups will be scrolling at the bottom of your screen here any second now. As mentioned, every Hawaii starter with the exception of Cole Hoagland, inexplicably by the way, yeah. making it on to the Big West Conference all first team and the block is up. Guilherme Voss next to Chaz Galloway and that gets a rise out of the crowd. Very tightly executed block. G. Voss. And Voss great at penetrating over the net as well. He, he rarely makes a mistake, mistake about getting his hands over. Yeah, fifth in the NCAA in blocks coming into this match. Backside, it's Amoruso. One hand sliding dig by Brett Sheward. So Tella goes high and away. Chaz Galloway off the block and down. Chaz Galloway, first team all Big West selection for the first time in his career. And a lot of it having to do with how he upped his game in conference play. 2.4 kills per set overall in the regular season, but he went above three kills per set and up near 400 as a percentage in league play. Yeah, pretty, pretty amazing turnaround for Chaz. Spiros Hakas on the serve. Walmer going D set to Amoruso and he's able to tool the block and he gets the point for the Gauchos. The Gauchos coming in, essentially having won three straight matches. They took the last two matches of the regular season against CSUN. They had lost five in a row prior to that. Here is Sam Meister, another guy who has been doing the tour position-wise and playing a little middle as well. Here's G. Voss. That behind-the-head set from Tella to Voss, and if that thing is grooving, look out. Tella does a great job of moving G. Voss along the net. So it's really unpredictable as a middle blocker. Where are you going to chase him? In front of the setter? Behind the setter? He does a little bit of everything. And here is Voss to serve. He's been doing a lot of this and putting a little extra pop into his serve these days. Ryan Wilcox on the swing. It's dug up by Tella. So Hakas highballs it to Demetrius Mukleos. And the Greek connection connects for the kill. Hakas to Mukleos. High and wide and OTT for Mukleos. You see the numbers for Mukleos this season. Gaudy to say the least. Top 10 in kills per set. Also 11th in the nation in hitting percentage. In the two matches versus Santa Barbara this year, he went big. Amoruso trying to scramble after it, and that is a heck of a play. He was nowhere in the area when that set first left the palms of Jack Walmer, but he was able to adjust and then put a little pepper on it. That was quite, quite the athletic maneuver. A lot of credit to Nick Amoruso. You see, his, for the season, 3.4 kills. He's already got three, I think, in this first set. Had 16 kills, hit 270 in the match against Hawaii back on March 31st. That was the first of the two matches. Both played at Santa Barbara. Here's Demi off the block, covered by Amoruso, but over the net. And Chaz Galloway making it look easy. Overpass that time allowed Chaz to just tap it down. So already a couple kills for Chaz. And normally the Gauchos are very good at ball control. They don't overpass that much. Remember, they're the number one defensive team in the country as far as digs per set are concerned. Over nine digs per set. And here is Mukleos with the serve. Pass by Wilcox is a good one. He'll get, no, it'll be a back row set to Ben Court, and he hits it out. No touch up front, so Hawaii gets the point. So Ben Court didn't make many mistakes last night, did no, he? No, he was scorching. Three errors all night long. 16 kills. One of a slew of roster members for the Gauchos out of Miracosta High School. Demi on the serve. Gauchos out of system. Wilcox cross-court bump set. Amoruso avoids the triple block. Did he get a touch? Yes, he did. 
And so UC Santa Barbara gets the point. Ray Mink, the R1 across the way, top the ladder. He made the call. Sergio Gonzalez is the R2 down on the floor. Dedicated replay official as well is Pat Bradley. And, well, good timing on the intro because we have a challenge from Charlie Way. So Charlie's going to suggest that there was no touch here. Again, they're utilizing the DV Sport replay system. So you have, in addition to the television camera angles, to utilize as replays. You also have uh, several static cameras that could paint a little broader picture. I have yet to see a touch on three different cameras so far, but we'll see. This one probably the best, best look right there. I don't see any fingers moving or the ball changing spin at all. Remember, we didn't see the greatest percentage of successful challenges last night. I think just one successful challenge out of six overall throughout the two quarterfinal matches. Charlie's going to see if he can get things off to a successful start in that category. And all things considered, even early on in this first frame, a fairly important call here. Yeah, big difference between 7-4 and... 6-5. We're taking a good hard look at this. And again, utilizing the DV Sport system. So they're seeing some angles that uh, we have not yet seen here with uh, this replay challenge timeout. You see Santa Barbara having to uh, rest up in a hurry. Tough turnaround for them going five sets in that match against UC San Diego last night. And would you believe that that was the eighth five-setter already for the Gauchos and just the second time they pulled one out? Yeah, they lost six five-setters this year. And so the call is going to stand. Jakob Tella, who is not really one to protest overtly, he is the first of the Hawaii players to walk up to the R2 Sergio Gonzalez and say, trust me, nobody touched it. But a touch is called, point is given to UCSB. So four serving seven. And Wilcox to serve. And it's gonna be an ace. Ryan Wilcox, the 6'2 senior out of Punahou School. Now a three-time first team all Big West Conference selection deals his 33rd ace of the season. That's tops on the team. And here it comes again. That time a good pass by Hakas. He gets the back row set, but he's blocked. In the middle of the triple block was Dane Johnson, 6'7 redshirt sophomore from Manhattan Beach, California. Yes, out of Miracosta High School. And they had that one smothered. They really, really read that well. All three blockers got up on that back row quick. That's three straight points for the Gauchos, but that run ends on the out serve. The importance of serving the ball effectively, but also serving the ball in for UCSB, you think? Yeah, I think it's really important tonight. So did Coach McLaughlin. That's what he said in the press conference last night. He started the press conference off, by the way, by saying, oh, we need to serve better tomorrow night if we're going to be <laughs> and keep more balls in play if we're going to beat Hawaii. Johnson with the swing, and he'll get the kill. So a little defense from Dane Johnson. Follows that up with a little O. And now he's back behind the line to serve. One point difference here in set number one. Ball does not get set to the middle that often for the Gauchos. Jump float, two-hand pass, Shuey. Back set by Tella on the money to Dimi. And that pass coming out of the palms of Brett Sheward was not ideal. Tella was still able to flip it and put it right there. A little nectar dangling for Demi. Jakob Tella, just amazing. Winner of the Jack Bonham Award, the highest, most prestigious award that can be given to a University of Hawaii student athlete. Here's Amaruso cross court and wide, no touch. Didn't get the sweet spot on that one and Hawaii gets the point. Amoroso had a much better hitting situation that time. Facing only one blocker. It also almost like having an open court for him. So here's Cole Hoagland. 
and that one is stopped by the net. And hey, look, it's not our job to get into the business of conference honors and those kinds of things. Most coaches, most players will downplay it anyway, but uh, to think that Cole Hoagland was nowhere to be found on the first team or honorable mention, that's mind blowing. Can't agree with you more. Overpass. Court couldn't get it down. So Tella sends it up for Hawkins. Little tight to the net, and he makes it work anyway. That was improv all around. And the Rainbow Warriors coming away with the point. Smart play by Hawkins. He really had no chance to spike it. He could only really wipe it off the outside blocker's hands. Here's Tella. Chase down, bump set by Walmer. Amoruso off the fingertips of the block, just overpowering six hands across the board for Hawaii. So you wonder how Amoruso can get kills twice now against a three-man block. And against a one-man block, he hits it four feet out. Go figure. <laughs> oh, this game of volleyball. It can be vexing. See what he did last night. He went monster. Nine serving 11. Five kills already for Amoruso to lead everybody. Tella with the jump set outside. Mucleus dug up by Court. But a hard second touch there to get to for Jack Walmer. And that was another beauty of a set by Jakob Tella. A little guava jelly there for Mucleus. Yeah, that was really special. You know, Tella is just famous for taking an average pass and turning it into a great set. Rick McLaughlin telling us when we spoke with him this week, he says, Jakob Tell is the best player in the country. Yeah. I have voted for him to be player of the year multiple times already. He is very high on Jakob Tell. Wilcox is dug up by Jakob. So Shui, the former setter, goes to Mucleus. Good pop up there by Amoruso. Here's Wilcox from off the playing surface, hits it into the net. That was a tough shot for Wilcox. Going backwards, almost running into the... The press table here, tough shot. Yeah, that's set a little drifty there from Jack Walmer. Walmer, who was used to over the course of his two years at the University of Hawaii, being on the other side of the net in the practice gym from Jakob Tella. You know, I should have asked Rick McLaughlin, who gave the scouting report for Hawaii? Walmer <laughs> or McLaughlin? <laughs> I think Walmer knows as much about this Hawaii team as anybody. Yeah, he was considered to be the succession plan for Jakob Tella, but you know, Jakob still has so many years remaining, and you know, Walmer is doing the math, thinking, I think I'm ready to have a larger role. Here's Galloway going high hands, wiped up by Amoruso. Court sets up Wilcox through the triple block. Diving save by Hakas. Here's Mucleus. <laughs> What a save by Spiros Hakas. Boy, he's playing some pretty good back row defense there. You see Hakas keeping the ball alive on the bump set by Shuey. Mucleus, as usual, the Terminator. And now one of the fan favorites, both at home and on the road, as it turns out. Keone Thim in and back to serve. You see Demetrius Mucleus on senior night against UCSD. He has four kills right now, six attempts, no errors in this opening set but Keone Thim who's been locked in from the service line here in recent weeks and just some of his high-flying acrobatics between sets during timeouts he gets even road crowds sort of juiced up he draws the oohs and ahs and he can ramp it up on the radar gun as we are very familiar with well, the gun is here tonight so we can measure it Good pass, though, there by Dane Chalmers. Amoruso, well done there by the Gauchos. That was no easy task for Dane Chalmers, but the 6-4 libero, former outside, handled that with perfection. He played outside all year long until just recently he's been moved over to libero. He played libero a lot last year, but literally no libero this year at all until the last two nights. Serve by Walmer goes long. One of the more dangerous servers for Santa Barbara. With the out serve gives Hawaii point number 15. So timeout on the floor amid Hawaii fan screams. It's the Rainbow Warriors by four. 
Welcome back. Don't miss a second of the action. Watch Spectrum Sports on the go. The Spectrum News app has the local sports you love and the news and weather that matter most to you. Download today on the App Store or Google Play. All right, well, as mentioned, third meeting this season between Hawaii and UC Santa Barbara in the regular season. They met in California, March 31st and April 1st, both ending with Hawaii's sweet victories, but set three on both nights went to extras. You see some of the individual statistics as well, but Hawaii hitting over 400 on both nights. You know, Taylor really had the offense going. Tonight he's got it going as well. Hawaii hitting 538 tonight so far. Santa Barbara, 188. Hawaii setting out an 81% clip. So out of the 15-point media timeout, it's Mukleus. That's a good serve. In fact, that's an ace serve. This is an area I think that Demetrius Mukleus has improved most in. This and his blocking are the two things, but especially his serve. He's, he's more in control. He rarely serves out unless he tries to hit, hit it down the line, and then he always serves out. <laughs> but if he hits for the middle of the court, he's hitting with more velocity now than he has his entire career. Yeah, that's what Charlie tells us. He's like, you know, if he just aimed for the heart of the court every time, I, I think he'd probably have more aces, but he does try to get fairly surgical at times with the serve. That time he took a little something off. Walmer goes outside. Amoruso blocked in roof. Cole Hoagland jumping up next to Jakob Tella saying, ah, ole. That is almost Hawaii's smallest block there going up against Santa Barbara's most prolific attacker. Perfect posting that time, setting up of the block on the outside by Tella. So two blocks for Hawaii in this opening frame. And Hoagland so athletic, gets out there in a hurry. Another good serve by Mukleus. Pulls Walmer off the net. Here's Wilcox on the high ball. Diving save by Hawkus. That was incredible. And then a miss hit called against Tella as he and Sheward ran into each other. What's supposed to happen there on a play like that, C-Mac? Whoever yells loudest. <laughs> Actually, if Tella can get there, it's his. But, he, you know, I think that Shuey thought that Tella couldn't get there. So he was prepared to set it. And if Shuey sets it, it's going to be as good as Tella's. Trust me. So 12 serving 17. Good serve there by Wilcox. Back bump set, Demi. That set was exquisite off the platform of Jakob Tella. That's ridiculous. Back bump set, 30 feet behind his back. Can't see it, it's blind. Look at this, blind back bump set. Here comes Mucleus from behind the three meter line and just rips it through the block. And that's some superior volleyball activity going on out there, Kanoa. Chaz Galloway, oh, he caught it fat. And it goes out on the serve. Yeah, Jakob Tella, for so many reasons, referred to by Charlie Wade as a unicorn. I think it's in large part because of obviously what he does on the court. The fact that he's also a guy who handles his business in the classroom, right? A first-team academic All-American. But a guy who's also just one of the coolest, down-to-earth, nicest dudes you'll ever meet. Here's Hakas, dug up by Walmer, and then Court goes over with two hands. That was a nifty play there by Ben Court. We haven't seen that shot from court yet. Just a freshman out of Mar Maricosta. A great night last night. Big reason why they won. Dane Johnson on the jump float. Oh, Tella has to go track that down. High ball bump set goes to Hawkus off the fingertips of the block and down. Another fine chase down bump set by Jakob. And that time it was Spiros doing the honors. You know, for the most part tonight, Tella's just been standing at the net and the pass has been coming right to him. Now he's having to motor around a little bit, you know, testing that knee of his. Here's Kanaya Kana. One of the guys who was celebrated on senior night last week. Good serve there. Middle set, it's whiffed. Did it touch the Hawaii block? No, it didn't. Meister came up empty on that one, and so a four-hit violation gives the point to Hawaii, and they're up a half dozen. And you see the look of frustration there from head coach Rick McLaughlin at the moment. It was a missed opportunity off of what was a really good pass. Absolutely, I think, I suppose Coach McLaughlin hasn't called timeout yet, calm his troops down a little bit. 
Walmer goes right back to Meister, but he's dug up. Nobody had touch two, though. But how do you like that? Jack Walmer, the setter for the Gauchos, going right back to his middle, Sam Meister. I think Jack has taken a lot of notes from the book of Jakob Tella, spending the last two years with him. And that's one of the sets that Jakob loves to do, that find that three set from like the eight foot line. Amoruso, that's an ace. Was let by, thinking that it was an out ball, but it drops in, just taps that end line. And you see Santa Barbara within four here. A blocking sub. Walmer coming out. And the 6'9", Connor Dunn coming in. And that one does go out. And Connor Dunn, 6'9", senior from Phoenix, Arizona. And quickly he comes back to the bench. Meister back on the floor. And here's Jakob Tella to serve. Walmer goes outside the court. And a swing that they're going to say was outside the antenna, I think. Or did it land out? I believe it, I believe it landed out. No challenge yet from Coach McLaughlin. Yeah, from our angle, that looked awfully close, to be honest. But out ball is called. And that's a point for Hawaii. 22 serving 16. Here's Court. That time he kept it in, attacked the teeth of that block. And he gets it down for a much needed gaucho point. Court's got a big arm. So he's been a serving specialist all year long. Let's see what he does with his serve here. Try to bring the gauchos back into this. Yeah, he's a guy who actually has aspirations to play some beach and or indoor volleyball after college. Pass by Galloway's a good one. Here's Hawkus. Oh, a little high cheddar in the direction of Dane Chalmers. A lot of people think that Hawkins is only a left side hitter. No, he can do it on the right as well. So that's three kills for Hawkins. And he's back to serve. Also has three digs to his ledger. What a pass there by Wilcox. Gets the set on the outside. Dug up by Shuey. Tella going to go high and away to Galloway. And he hits it wide of the sideline, but they're going to call a net violation against UC Santa Barbara. And so it is Aloha Ball in set one, and the Hawaii fans are on their feet here at Brent Event Center. There are a lot of Hawaii fans here. Wow. Yeah, this is a scene. Serve goes long, though. But they'll remain standing as it remains set point. Well, we figured Hawaii would have a strong following no matter where they go. But this is even a bit of a surprise. One of Hawaii expatriates here in Orange County. And they all show, seem to show up when Hawaii comes to town. But these are a lot of familiar faces from back home. Exactly. That's what's crazy. Exactly. Sam Collins, who dealt an ace last night, comes in as the serving sub. Amid chance of let's go bows. Passed by Hakus. Tella, backside, Mucleus straight down to the floor. And that's how set one comes to a close. Demetrius Mucleus has six kills, no errors. And Hawaii flexes in the first 25-18. Uh, three and a half to four kills a set. Tonight he's starting off with, oh, six kills in this set. No errors. Going cross court, going area six, down to the back middle. He's got all the shots. He's got it all going on. Now, he wants to end up his college career on a high note because in the offseason, guess what he's going to be doing? 
negotiating for a <laughs> professional contract. Yeah, that would definitely help in that regard. Hawaii taking the first 25-18. Let's send it over to Ryan Kalei Suji. Ryan, what's up? Thanks, Kanoa. Here on the Gaucho sideline, they are still very encouraged despite that blowout in the first set saying we just got to come out more efficient uh, offensively and also track number 11, which of course is Demetrius Mukli is saying that he uh, is a player to watch that hope they will set them in tough situations. Also to note, uh, Donovan Todorov, a player who was really picked to be one of the all-star middle blockers for this Gaucho team. Uh, He's been injured. He did not play last night. He's being inserted into this second set to help lift the Gauchos and provide some defense and offensive options from the middle. Back over to you guys. Thanks a lot, Ryan. Yeah, Donovan Zadorov, who has been dealing with an ankle injury since the month of March. And you see, trying to work on it even as we speak. Did not play last night. Head coach Rick McLaughlin telling us he's probably around 70%. Nick Amoruso, he got more than 70% of that swing by Spiros Hakas, however, and a roof to start things off for the Gauchos. That was a great turn into the court kind of a block. All right, Amoruso, that was impressive. And Todorov still stretching out ABCA All-American honorable mention last season as Walmer sends it just long. And so we're tied at one here to start set number two. The hitting percentages, Hawaii went 632 in the first compared to 125 for the Gauchos. That's a, a big difference. Yeah, quite the disparity there. Here's Jakob Tella. Amoruso, Amoruso though, got six kills himself. Your normal average is three, so he doubled his product production. Here's Wilcox, good sliding dig there by Tella. So Shuey sets up Mucleus. Hard angle goes down. Demi is cooking with Kiave at the moment. He is, and he got a nice set from Brett Sheward. The backup center now playing the barrel. So here's Tella, two aces away from setting the career aces mark at the University of Hawaii. Good pass there by Chalmers. Here's Wilcox. Tried to take line, avoided the block, missed it wide. And Wilcox right now in the negative, c -Mac. Yeah, Ben Court hitting zero as well. Two kills, two errors. So they're two pin hitters struggling right now. Yeah, Wilcox still looking for his first kill of the match. Three straight points for the Bows. Middle set off the block and down. Dane Johnson able to give it a rip. Well, you talked about it before we went on the air, C-Mac. You felt like if UCSB can exploit the middles a little bit more, that would better their chances. It certainly looks like it's been part of the game plan. Absolutely. I think they definitely have to go to the middle more, more than the 10% they've been going. Hakas up the elevator shaft, and he slams it home. Spiros Hakas, one of the Greek connection. Four kills already. 6'4 junior from Nea Shmirni, Greece. With the high toss, here it comes. Walmer goes backside, Amoruso, high hands, two hands saved there by Hakas. And then Tello, oh, that set came out a little tight to the net, but Chaz Galloway was able to win the wrestling match with his opposite hand. A rare four location set by Tella, but Ch Chaz Galloway saves the day with a push right there. Left hand from Galloway versus two hands for Nick Amoruso. Galloway won that anyway. And Hakas sends that one into was Pasadena. A, was a double off the wall, wasn't it? <laughs> Ground rule double. So three serving five here, early stage of set two. And Dane Johnson. Asked by Galloway is a good one. Up the ladder, off the block and out. And Chaz Galloway, very steady here at the start. That pass first off was on the money, and he also gets his fifth kill still error free as we see the insertion of Donovan Todorov. See the numbers this season. But again, the ankle injury suffered 
ironically, in the first match against UC San Diego, and he's been dealing with that ever since. They go back row, it's Wilcox. Block slowed it down. So now Tella with options, goes middle to Hoagland. Good save there by Wilcox. Outside, it's Court off of Tella, and Hoagland couldn't quite make the play up against the signage across the way. Same house rules here at Brent Event Center as we've been talking about recently at Simplify Arena at Stan Sheriff Center. If it's off the playing surface, you gotta have a foot on the Terraflex in order to conjure up a save. Oh, and that one went over the net, and Todorov, that's a good way to reintroduce himself as he's able to get it down on the overpass for the easy point. That's what all Big West All-American players do. They don't get tangled up in the net on tap downs like that. Great play by Todorov. 6'6", redshirt junior from San Diego, California, out of University City High School, and that serve goes long. So the sixth service error for UC Santa Barbara. And here's Demetrius Muklias. And Hawaii by two. Good serve, rattled around, free ball coming over the net. Tella with options, he'll swing on two. Nakatella hits on two. Very rarely does he get dug. Nice pass that time by Shuey. Puts it right on the money. Now watch for the next time this to happen. Tella's going to jump, take two blockers with him, and then set to hitters who will have an open net. The ovation he received on senior night was second to none. How incredible was that a week ago? when you had a sellout crowd of 10,000, and I would say at least 8,000 stayed for the entire senior night festivities. Yeah, it was pretty amazing. What a serve there by Muklias. Walmer, tough set there to Todorov, so chance for Hawaii, Tella jump set. Muklias off the fingertips of the block, played up by Wilcox. Here's Amoruso, block straight down to the ground. Hoagland and Galloway denying access. Chaz Galloway has become a, a much improved blocker as he goes up, kind of trace over the net. No room for that ball to go in between his arms and on the cable. Well executed block. For the defending Big West Conference champions, two-time defending national champs, playing like it here in the early stages as that one ricochets off the net and out. What did I tell you about his down-the-line serves? You know, did I say something about that earlier? And then, and then you made sure you got Charlie Lance coming in there. About, hey, Dini, just serve him in the middle of the court. Speaking of court, here's Ben Court. You see the UC Irvine players in the end zone bleachers. They're awaiting their matchup with second seeded Long Beach State. Those two teams played to a five set thriller in this building on the final night of the regular season just last week and they'll have a chance to do it again here this evening that should be a good one here's Galloway backside Amoruso dug up by Galloway second touch Shuey Haka slaps it across Gaucho's in transition Wilcox all oh, the set was off the mark free chance for Hawaii Tella on two dug up tight to the net over goes Walmer and a net violation called against the Gauchos. And timeout signal by Rick McLaughlin. His team appearing to be a little frazzled at the moment. He's going to try to calm things down. Hawaii by a handful in set two. Welcome back. Well, Chaz Galloway, C-Mac, he has been in his bag so far in this match. He really has. Five kills. Did it all sorts of different ways. A little tap down there. He had a, a push to the left hand there for another big, another kill. Five kills, no errors in six attempts. He's hitting 0 
833. Normally hits around 300 on the year. 400 lead play. How about a pair of digs and a pair of blocks to go along with Chaz Galloway's stat line? And he's now back to serve Hawaii by five out of the UCSB timeout. Walmer goes outside, it's Wilcox. And he goes off the block and down. And Ryan Wilcox recording his first kill of the match. This is a guy who leads the team with 3.24 kills per set. And we started off slow last night against San Diego. And he came on strong the rest of the match to, to really have a, a good night. Yeah, he had 17 kills, hit 406 last night against the Tritons. Tella against the grain. Moglias is stuffed. Ryan Wilcox shutting the door. So back to back plays for Ryan Wilcox. And really, his importance to this team cannot be overstated. As he goes, the Tritons go. Or the Gauchos go, I should say. Rick McLaughlin just speaks so highly of him. And his competitive desire is the way he sets an example and work ethic for the team. Hoagland, the behind the head middle delivery by Jakob Tella. Paul Hoagland, 6'4, out of Waimanalo and Iolani School. He is so athletic, gets up so quickly. Block was way late in trying to block Hoagland that time. And the routes that he runs. The middle blockers on the other team have a really hard time reading him. Good serve there. Pulls Walmer way off the net. Wilcox going to try to time it off the block and down. Bettering the ball. And a big point there for UC Santa Barbara. UCSB. Struggled on the road this year, one in 10 in true road matches, but they won last night in what was their first official neutral court match. Here's Voss, laying the smack down. Took a while for Teller to get Voss involved, but I'm telling you, once Voss gets going, he puts up numbers. That's how hard he goes in the middle. He gets up quick, quick arm swing as well. Jakob on the serve. What a flying touch there by Chalmers, and then it's looped over. Chance here for Hawaii. Tella goes middle to Voss. What a set. Oh, my goodness. He just does things that most setters can't or won't do. Run in the opposite direction. Open court for Voss. He is an artist out there on the Terraflex. Wilcox, cross court, popped up by Tella, so Shuey chases it down. Cross court, bump set, Hakas is roofed. That is a big block on the other side for UC Santa Barbara. Really good bump set by Shuey that time to give Hakas a chance to get a good swing at it, but a better UCSB Gaucho block. Good penetration over the net, no holes in the block, six hands across. Served by Wilcox was a heater. Here's Voss. Oh, didn't get the contact he was seeking. And did not get a touch either on the other side. So point for UCSB. In a few moments, going to be taken to wipe some perspiration off of the floor. Good look at Rick McLaughlin, the ABCA National and Big West Conference Coach of the Year in 2021. They won the Big West Conference Tournament that season. They were the two seed. And they actually defeated UC San Diego in the championship after UC San Diego had knocked out Hawaii in the semifinal. He's been a national ABCA coach of the year twice. Hawaii way out of system here. Hawkus going to Demi through the block and down. He cannot be stopped at the moment. I believe the Greek word is astamatiti, unstoppable. And right now, that's Demetrius Muklias. Three blockers up. You'd think the advantage would be to the blockers, wouldn't you? But no. Demi, eight kills tonight, yet to make an error. Fifteen serving eleven. 
Oh, that one handcuffed Wilcox a little bit. So Amoruso, tough angle, two-hand save there, Sheward. Tella, outside Galloway. Oh, they were taking Galloway's line. They knew he was going to cut it back across his body. And they still couldn't stop him. He got past the block and hit the line bigger. He gets back pretty quickly, one step. Tools the outside blocker, Amoruso. He picks up yet another kill. Yeah, that's six now for him without an error. Wow. Great pass there, Chalmers outside. It's court, blocked back, and roof. Voss next to Dini. And Muklius points at G. Voss saying, no, that was all him. <laughs> The roof towels here aligning Brent Event Center. Timeout, Gaucho. Welcome back. There you hear the screams. Most of those coming from Hawaii fans. The scene is striking. A sea of green, tea leaves, Hawaiian flags. I think a lot of these people came here to Irvine because it's cheaper than going to George Mason for, for the Final Four. <laughs> and in fact, it could be Long Beach and Hawaii in the Final Four. Who knows? Yeah, you're right. There's been some of the discussion here this week, right, depending on how things play out across the college landscape. Is the Big West good enough? Could this be a year where you could conceivably have three Big West teams go to the NCAA tournament? Outside is court off the block and down. I mean, the Big West Conference, you can't deny, obviously was a little bit more of a tale of two halves in the conference this year, with Long Beach State, Hawaii, and UC Irvine, the top three. Uh, but this is a conference that now accounts for the last four national championships, a, a conference which I don't think anybody would disagree uh, is, at the moment, setting the standard in the game, as that serve was let by by Galloway, and it drops in for an ace for Dane Johnson. I'll tell you who's really good, though, who's missing from this tournament, UCLA and Penn State. They're really, really good, and I think it's going to be an amazing final back at George Mason first week of May. Yeah, I think you're right. That serve by Johnson goes into the twine. And three teams might be asking a little much, sure, but when you talk to the Big West coaches, you know, I think you hear the fact that they're appreciating that next year the NCAA tournament field is going to expand to 12 teams, yeah. and, and they feel like that's going to be more suitable, I think, for getting all of the great teams over there into the NCAA tournament. I agree. And three of the top five teams in the country are playing here this weekend. You're exactly right. It's pretty amazing. Of course, the national rankings do not matter when it comes to the selection process. It's more on the RPI side. But that's still something to be stated when you have three of the top five teams that are playing, not just in this tournament, but tonight. Yeah. Maruso with the serve. Tella surveys the floor, then goes backside to Mucleus. A net violation called against the Gauchos, but it was in anyway. So Demetrius picks up his ninth kill, and he'll now make the trek back behind the line to serve. Why still out of hitting offensively, Santa Barbara. 333 to 059 in this game. Santa Barbara out blocking Hawaii 5 to 4, but Hawaii out digging the Gauchos 15 to 9. Yeah, Hawaii hitting 500 for the match at the moment. Here's Court from off the net. And the block was up. The Manoa Roofing Company made the trip to the West Coast. They did. Putting on their hard hats and getting the job done at the net. You see the blocking comparison. 20 serving 14. Another beauty forces the overpass. Tella, back set to Muclius, empty net. That was gorgeous. That was a thing of beauty. I told you the next time that Tella was going to get a pass from Shuey to hit it on two, he's going he's to take two blockers with him, and he did just that, giving Muclius the empty net. Yeah, that was hidden lines for Demi, thanks to his setter, Jakob. The maestro delivering another fantastic set there for his top hitter who has 10 kills. Great name for Tell, I think. The maestro. 
Back row, it's Wilcox. Dug up by Demi. Tella. The jump back set to Mokvius. Are you for real? And was he standing in the referee's chair while he did it? Oh, my goodness. Well, it looks like Demi was over the line here. Oh, they're going to call the back row attacker. And that takes away another huge highlight for Jakob Tella. You know, most people would have gone over there and just bump set the ball to keep it in play. No, Jakob goes over there and hand sets it and puts it perfectly for his back row opposite hitter. Yeah, jump hand sets it, mind you, as Galloway tried to get it over the block, tapped back around, pinballed on the Hawaii side, and Shuey will slap it over. Walmer, backside, here's Amoruso, dug up by Shuey. Tella, high up to Galloway again, tight to the antenna, so Galloway had to send it over with his opposite hand. Amoruso the tip, sniffed out by Shuey. Here's Muklius. And he sends it out, no touch up front. Just the third hitting error for Demi. How about Shuey digging that ball down the line? Amoruso just ripped it. Shuey popped it right up. And so the Teller can run a play. Charlie Wade still applauding his team's effort there on that last sequence despite losing the point. 16 serving 21. It's Ben Court to send it across. Good pass by Galloway. Hoagland in the middle. Rattled around. Amoruso collided with his teammate Court. And he pumps it long. Just some miscommunication. Some unforced errors this evening here for UCSB. Unlike last night where I thought they communicated pretty well. The one thing they struggled with last night was their serving. 30 serves out. Good serve there by Galloway. Walmer tracks it down. Wilcox dug up by Galloway. Tella jumps that outside. Hakas going high hands. Walmer with options. Goes to the middle. It's Todorov. And at 70%, at least according to his head coach, he is still potentially devastated. He looked pretty good there. His, his ankle looks sharp there, goes up, gets a good jump on it, gets a fast arm swing, and buries it. So Hawaii by five, and it will be Todorov to serve in his fourth year with the program. And it's a good serve. Rattled around and somehow returned by Hawaii. Outside, Wilcox unloads. And UCSB within four. I told you he's a slow starter. Watch for Ryan Wilcox to come on here. The longer the night goes on, the better Wilcox will get. Yeah, he's starting to percolate here in this second set. That one tickled the tape. Tella. Outside, Hawkus, it was a joust above the net. Hoagland with the jump set to Hawkus. Diving save by Court, that was pretty. Walmer chases down the bump set. Wilcox tried to tip it over, but it didn't get across. And Hawaii gets the point, hard earned. How about the jump set by Cole Hoagland in the midst of all of that? That was special. Well, that's one of the things Milan Zarkovic, the assistant coach, has prided himself in as he's worked at UH the last 10 years. Every player has got to do every skill. So you'll see middle, middle blockers be pretty good at setting the ball to the outside, pretty good at digging the ball in the back row, but not necessarily just the specialist to do one thing, and that's hit middle and block middle. There you see Milan. Oh, he is camera shy? No, he's not camera shy. Yeah, now, if he just knew that we were on him, if he saw the red I, light I think there, he does know it. I think he does know it, yeah. He was doing his the thinker pose, I think, for a while there. Yeah, yeah. Served by Akana. Is an ace. And they'll stand up here at the Bren. Hawaii fans in mass. Rising for Aloha Ball in set two. And they'll execute the Viking clap. Here it comes from Kanai Okano. Another good serve. Walmer sets up Amaruso, the tip shot, diving save, Akana. Tella goes out 
to Hakka, so he tried to go off the block. Did he? No, he missed the hands. Sends it out, and it's a point for UCSB, but it remains Aloha Ball. And Cole Hoagland will check back in for Akana, and Brett Sheward will get back out on the floor at the libero spot. Walmer to serve. Tella pulled off the net, high and away, Hawkus. And it's a punctuation. Hawaii takes the second, 25-19. And in front of a big time Hawaii contingent, the Rainbow Warriors in the semifinals of the Big West Tournament will have an opportunity to crack open the broom closet. But Hawaii were looking pretty dominant pretty much in all areas. That's why the lopsided scores. Well, to add to what we're seeing here with the uh, match statistic, let's send it over to Ryan Calais. Suji, Ryan, what you got? Thanks, Gono. Well, on the Santa Barbara sideline, the coaching staff really just trying to encourage their team, saying, hey, we've put together pieces uh, that we need. We just need to string them together for longer periods of time. And they're also saying, we have nothing to lose. This could be the last set of some of your careers. You have to go out swinging, really just trying to motivate them to go all out here in this third set. For the Hawaii sideline, very encouraging. They're also playing up to the fans, recognizing they have the advantage here with their home court. It's great to see this interaction between players and the fans. Back over to you. Thanks a lot, Ryan. We're playing volleyball again here in set three. And Donovan Todorov able to knock it down to get things started for UCSB and looking pretty decent in the process. Great, great pass there. <clears throat> nice set from uh, from, Chal uh, from uh, Walmer. And how about Todorov adding a new dimension there in the middle for the Gauchos. Ben Court with the serve. Tella will go back row to Galloway. He's blocked back. The bump set gets to Hawkins and he's roofed. Todorov next to Wilcox. And they were keyed in a couple of times there. Up front for the Gauchos. Oh, what a serve, forces the overpass. Oh, but the pass was above the net and then the Gauchos won the joust. Bit of a shaky start here for Hawaii in the third set, but give a lot of credit to the Gauchos. They've had three great plays to earn their points. Yeah, Greg Baglio, number 13, getting some run up front there for UCSB. As that serve goes wide, and Hawaii finally on the board here. So it looks like we have a change at setter, and Jack Walmer has been replaced by Greg Baglio, 6'5", redshirt freshman from La Jolla, California, out of Cathedral Catholic High School. Who has not played that much this year. Here he is chasing down that set to Wilcox. Roll shot through the triple block. Diving save by Hakkas. Here's Mucleus. How about that cut shot? Thin slice of bread the opposite way. That might have been inside the three meter line. This dig by Hakkas. Yeah, that was inside. That's a one great shot. How about the numbers Hakkas is putting it up in the back row? He's got seven digs now. Offensively, five kills for us, hitting 071. Not a great night offensively, but how about his defense leading every player on the court with seven digs? Getting back to Baglio, the setter right now for UCSB. To your point, C-Mac, he is playing in just his fifth set of the season. And it comes in the Big West semifinals. That was a high velocity serve. Here's the swing by Wilcox, blocked back. Right side, and that swing goes down. It's Guest Bianchi, 6'6 six, six red shirt sophomore from Laguna Beach, California. Another guy who has played just 15 sets all year, but it looked like he was much more experienced than that on that approach. Yeah, that was a great shot. When he has played, 3.3 kills per set.
Here's Hakas from the back row, blocked back the cover by Tella. High ball bumps and it's Muklias over the block. And Demi continues the onslaught. And bump set from Shuey there, look at that. OTT by Demi on all three blockers. Wow. Certainly a guy who has put together a player of the year type of campaign in the Big West Conference. That middle set tipped over there by Dane Johnson. So Voss sets up Demi off the high hands. Bianchi with the first touch. Here's Wilcox off of one leg, rattled the cage. And now the swing by Muklias over the block. Good save there along the back line by Court. Here's Wilcox from off the playing surface. Stumbles and falls, but gets the kill anyway. Solid rally by the Gauchos, putting it all together. Wilcox ending it with that wiggle shot. We'll call it a wiggle power shot through the block. Your thoughts on some of the changes made by Rick McLaughlin with the season on the line here in set three? Well, I think Amoruso wasn't playing well. He's hitting 053, almost flat lining it. So there, there's Bianchi's spot right there. And the team's only hitting 075. So maybe you set, set to get warmer out of there. He's the setter setting that 075 uh, percentage. So why not try another setter? I think Rick McLaughlin's uh, definitely rolling the dice here. Four serving five in the third. Overpass, Galloway punches it home. And we're tied here in set three. And if you're Rick McLaughlin, certainly what's running through your mind is there is no tomorrow if we do not win this match. So if he feels like he needs to try to find somebody that can spark something, Rick McLaughlin's never been one to be shy to search some of the far corners of his bench. Yeah. Has had to deal with injuries. We mentioned Todorov. Owen Berg, a Big West Conference All-Freshman Team selection. Another would-be pin hitter that he could utilize. He was injured for the rest of the year. Midway through the campaign. That's a tough serve. One hand set, Wilcox punches it out. And so Hawaii jumps in front. That's three straight points for the Rainbow Warriors. Some of the bunches, in fact, I would say most of them have come when this guy's been behind the service line. He's really become a prolific scorer behind that line. And as we sing his praises, he serves it into the twine. Where was he in it? That's on you, c -Mac. Down the line. <laughs> and maybe that's what Charlie Wade's telling him right now. I think, I think the conversation is probably Demi saying, but coach, I know I can serve down the line. Let me try again. So tied at six in the third, here's Ryan Wilcox. Tella, behind the head to Holden, and he bounces it. Once again, Jakob Tella, in a misdirection thing, running from full speed to area four in the front row, front left. And he knows that Cole Hoagland, an amazing athlete, is right behind him, so he delivers it, and Hoagland hits him at an empty net again. Gaucho's out of system here. Court from way off the net, dug up to the top of the net, and then placed down. Well done there by Dane Johnson. Johnson, 6'7", with those go-go gadget arms, was able to get the best of it. Back to serve. Tell on two. He can impact a volleyball match in so many different ways. Starting with his serve and ending with spikes like this. 
Catching the other team's blockers. Totally. SB this season here. Todorov, wow. That took some creativity. He was able to make it work. That was a great play. I love the set, too. Firing set low one to area three, and uh, Todorov delivers. Also played soccer in his younger days. You see some of the athleticism in his volleyball game. The Yankees serve is passed by Shui, and then the middle set to Voss. Didn't get all of it, but he got enough of it. Paintbrush action there for G. Voss. But a point to point, and Hawaii up nine, serving eight, and Jakob Tella back to serve. Hawaii has won the last 15 matchups with UCSB. They lead the all-time series 59. Passed by Wilcox on the money. They go back row to Wilcox. That was a little off the mark, though. So now advantage Hawaii. Here's Hakas tools the block. I think one of the descriptions of this match for UCSB, certainly some of the inconsistencies from a setting standpoint. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I was really surprised that, uh, that Walmer, you know, set his team to such a low percentage, but you know, a lot of those hitters, the hitters not making great choices, and Hawaii's block really playing well. Will Cox. Pinballed around, Hawkes with the swing through the block. Punched up there by Baglio and two-handed over the net. Knuckled up by Tella. Bump set from Shui to Hawkes. Off the block, it'll be played by Bianchi. Middle set to Dorov, couldn't get a good swing on it. So here's Galloway, swooping in from the back row. Cleared for takeoff. Here Galloway in action. Yes. how far he jumps. He is still error free, by the way. Eight kills hitting 667. And he took it to another floor on that one. Outside, here's court, cross court, and in. That was a beauty by court. That was a little outside, but he saved it. He's a Bay League and CIF Player of the Year at Miracosta High School. And he's now back to serve. Nine serving 11 here in set three. Hawaii leading two sets to none. Winner advances to the championship match tomorrow night. Here's Voss, big swing there, but the block slowed it down. So Baglio goes back row to court. And he's now starting to find some traction. And that can be a game changer for the Gauchos. Absolutely. How about a slow start for Cork? Hitting 0 0 0 at the end of two sets. Now playing much better. As that serve is an ace. An ace for Ben Cork. For the fifth time, time out, Charlie Way. The Gauchos not going down easy. Welcome back. Let's check out tonight's Hyundai head-to-head -head stat line, and we're looking at the hitting percentages for both teams. UCSB at 153 for the match. Hawaii at 379. Here's the big, the big stat is that Santa Barbara's up their kill percentage from first set 125, second set 034. This set getting 368, eight kills and only one error. Is really up for offensive output. Why though, on the third set, hitting 438. So, a bit of an offensive show being put on by both teams right now. Already a double double for Jakob Tella, 24 assists and 10 digs. And here he is going backside to Hakas, and he erupts on it. Seventh kill for Spiros Hakas. 
hitting below 100. But he's caught a few in the sweet spot for sure. Also seven digs. Hawaii out digging UCSB 30 to 19. And Tutela leading all diggers in the floor. Tell uh, Hawkins number two. Outside, here's Wilcox. Nowhere to go. Eclipsed by Demetrius Muklias. And that'll put Wilcox back into the negatives. Hawaii up 13-11. How about that serve? Oh, just wide of the floor. Hawkins thought he had it. I think most of the Hawaii fans, and I think even the two of us, thought he had it as well. It looked like it. Fedorov now to serve. And that goes long. Again, the winner advances to the championship tomorrow night. It'll be either Long Beach State or UC Irvine. That'll be our second match here in this semifinal round. We will bring that to you about 30 minutes after the conclusion of this one. Keone Fim getting ready to serve. Into the net it goes. Any early thoughts? on Long Beach State, UC Irvine. Yeah, it's going to be a good one, I'll tell you. If Irvine's pin hitters have good nights, I think it's going to cause all sorts of problems for, for Long Beach State. On the other hand, Long Beach State have played so well all year long, really a consistent team. Um, we got to give them the edge, even though it's being played here at Irvine. And the serve goes long there by Baglio. Yeah, Long Beach State coming in riding an eight-match win streak. Their last loss was in the islands against Hawaii. Another storyline to keep an eye on, will we see Cole Gillis out there for UC Irvine? He did not play last night. Akil Tongutur played in his stead and actually performed admirably for sure. 15 serving 13. How did Wilcox even get that up off the floor? Meanwhile, Bianchi sends it into the twine, and Hawaii by three in what is a pivotal juncture of this set. The Rainbow Warriors set out at the beginning of the year to see if they could pull off a 2023 Pete. This is step one here in the postseason to advance out of the semis. Service error though by Dini. Good idea. He tried to hit a little short one there. He just didn't try to rip it down the line. He, the short one was a higher percentage that would that it would go in. in. Okay. Oh, look at that. Inside the three meter line. Pretty good dexterity there. Not too bad for the Orange Coast College transfer, who was a Big West Conference All-Freshman Team selection a season ago. Wilcox, however, with the service error. And Hawaii goes back up by two. What a game this guy's been putting together. Pretty flawless. The only thing he's made an error, has he? Getting less, eight kills, no errors in 667. Well, there's an error. He did have a service error already, and that is service error number two. But I think it's still well stated that he has been just performing at such a high level here for the Rainbow Warriors, really throughout all of conference play. Absolutely. He's, been, he's got five digs. He's got been in on three blocks, and he's passed the ball 13 times out of the 34 receptions. He's got 13 of them. And so here's Sam Collins. Another Miracosta High School product. Stands at about 6'2. A 6'7 wingspan there. And he blasts it out. So they're trading blows here in the third, but UCSB needs a run. 
And it's Kanai Akana who enters the match to serve for the Rainbow Warriors. Think about the atmosphere tomorrow for a championship. If Hawaii advances, you have either the host Irvine in the championship or Long Beach, which is not too far from where we're at right now. And that crowd tends to follow its program pretty well. Could be a full house. 5,000. It's going to be rocking here at Brent Event Center. Akana, that's an ace! Ben Court let it by, but it hit smack dab on that corner. I think he got well inside. Second service ace for Akana. That's a good serve as well. Outside its court. Blocked and rolled. Ain't nothing but a G thing. G boss saying uh uh. And a timeout by UCSB. Rainbow Warriors up four in the third. Welcome back. Well, that's what they're playing for here in Irvine this week. The hardware, the Big West Men's Volleyball Tournament Championship Trophy. As we go inside, the numbers presented by Long's Drugs, the number is one. How about this, CMAC? This is major D1 or D2 conference teams without a five-set match. Yet this season, Hawaii has played in 20 three-setters and eight four-setters, but never this season a five-set match. That's a pretty amazing stat, isn't it? On the other hand, Santa Barbara's played in eight five setters. <laughs> yeah, that's unreal. Akana out of the timeout. Middle set, Todorov hit it into the twine, and then he comes down kind of hard, and that's what you don't want to see if you're UCSB. Is any further damage done to that ankle? Now, this could be the last match, who knows, but. Uh, you definitely want to think about the long-term effects for this guy. Four straight points for Hawaii. Big swing there by Bianchi. Laid the lumber. And UCSB gets a much-needed point. Good service turn there by Kanae Akana. Gets hugs all around. High fives all around. Tell us in the front row right now. Watch for a, a close pass for Tello to hit it on two. It's a good serve there by Bianchi. Tello with a joust above the tape. It was blocked back and then goes off of Boston now. Very alert and blocking up front by the Gauchos that time. They knew Tella might push it over if it was a close play at the net. So Bianchi, once again to serve. Pass by Sheward. Tella goes back row Galloway. As if he repelled down from the rafters. <laughs> So no longer is it an airplane takeoff for our Galloway. It's now an outdoorsman who's rappelling down from the he, rafters. He's just always up there. He's, he's, that's where his office is. It's on the penthouse <laughs> level. <laughs> well, that one played off the net there by the setter, Baglio. Bianchi couldn't get all of it. So chance here for Hawaii. Bump set goes to Hawkins from off the net. And how about the placement there? Just to the corner where he knew it would cause some trouble, and trouble it did cause. Hawaii closing in here. And it's Jakob Tella. 23 serving 18. Good pass there by Wilcox. Set to the back row. Wilcox couldn't get there. So here's Demi. Touch shot. Drops. All night long, Demi has 
ripped away at that three-man block. And then he pulls the string and gets Hawaii to set match point. Aloha ball for a spot in the championship. The Hawaii fans on their feet. UCSB way out of system. It's an ace. And that's how this one ends. With an exclamation point. Hawaii takes it. Ekahi, Elua, Aloha. And advances to the championship. Well, this is how it ended moments ago in the semifinal round. Jakob Tella with that service ace, his 121st for his career, ties the Hawaii career record. And it gives Hawaii a spot in tomorrow night's Big West Conference Tournament Championship. Let's send it over to Ryan Kalei. Suji, Ryan. Hey, thanks, Kona, here with Charlie Wade. Charlie, congratulations. You find yourself back in the championship match of the Big West Conference. Uh, talk about tonight's match. Yeah, that's a really good team. You know, well coached. You got a lot of good players. Obviously, they've had a rough year, but uh, it's always a grind with them. There are no free points, and, uh, you know, glad to get the win in advance. You know, a lot of uh, contributing factors, but talk about Chaz Galloway without an error tonight, really proving to play his best ball at the end of the season. Yeah, he really has. He stepped up the last month or so now, really taking it to another level, and uh, it's great for us. Spears was off a little bit tonight offensively, and Chaz carried a big load. Good to see. Talk about this environment. It's like a home court advantage for you folks. It really is. Hey, I, 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 words can't even describe it. It's, it really is humbling, uh, the kind of support that we get. What is this, a uh, couple thousand people here to support us? And yeah, really, uh, really impressed. Thank you to everybody. And, and final question, looking forward to tomorrow's championship match between Irvine or Long Beach. You have a preference and your thoughts going into the match. Yeah, I'm hoping they play like seven sets tonight and then just keep <laughs> battling. Uh, two really good teams and, you know, we're going to have to play well for sure. Best of luck. Congratulations. Send back over to you guys. Thanks a lot, Ryan. All right, Bank of Hawaii presents the players of the match. Donovan Todorov playing on the bum ankle. Four kills at 375, two blocks. And Jakob Tella, 26 assists. Double-double performance with 12 digs. Also had a pair of kills and that record-tying service ace. All right, C-Mac, I'll give you the last word. I don't know if, if, if Hawaii's performance impresses you more or the number of fans they had in the stands. They had about as many fans as they are miles away from home. <laughs> a little over a couple thousand. Yeah, it was really, really impressive. And uh, I'm sure now they're they're happy they had the early match. They can, they can go home and watch it on TV or they can in the hotel or they can stay and watch. I'm not sure what they're going to do. But in either case, I'm sure they're happy that they're, somebody else will be playing late. And like Charlie says, he's hoping they have they play at least seven or maybe eight sets and get real tired for tomorrow night. We will bring you the second semifinal right here on Spectrum Sports. A reminder, ESPN will have the coverage of the championship match tomorrow. Hawaii will take on the winner of Long Beach State and UC Irvine. That does it for semifinal number one. The Rainbow Warriors prevail, and they'll get a chance to defend their conference crown tomorrow night. For now, for Ryan Kalei Suji and Chris McLaughlin, I'm Kano Alehi. We'll see you in about 30 minutes for semifinal number two. But again, aloha from Irvine, California.